In this video, we will learn how to turn this into this. In the beginning, I have these two photo layers loaded into my project. The first thing I need to do is to make the white background of the fan transparent. And to do that, I will need to add the Luma key effect into the top layer. So, I open the effects panel and add Luma key from the masking category. Reduce the max parameter so that all the white pixels turn transparent. Next thing is to add a gradient color into the fan blades. And for that, I will need to pick the radial gradient effect from the colors category. And change the effect settings to get a nice gradient color. And we can make the blades look solid by adding the bump map effect. Which can be found under the stylize category. This is a very powerful effect, maybe we will discuss it in details in a future video. But for this project, I just choose the top layer, for both the source, and the destination image. And then adjust the bump elevation, and the smoothness parameters, to get the desired look. This looks good, now we can make the fan, spin. And to make it spin, we can add the spin effect which is under the transform category. As we can see, the fan is already starting to spin. But, I would like to control the speed, using some keyframes. So, I go to the spin effects settings, and add a keyframe at time 0. And reduce the speed to 0, so that the fan is at rest, initially. Then I move a little bit towards the right, where the fan should start moving at its full speed. And add another keyframe, by increasing the speed. Now if I play it, we can see that the fan starts moving slowly, and gains its full speed, at the second keyframe. Next thing, is to shut it down, after a while. Add another keyframe, until when, the speed should remain the same. And, just before the end, reduce the speed to zero, so that the fan stops there. This adds another keyframe, automatically. Now let us play the whole thing. This works, but the fan comes to a halt, a little too fast. And to fix that, we will use a ease out, easing curve, which will make the animation slow down, towards the end. I think, I should keep a bigger duration, between the turn off, and the time, when the fan actually stops spinning. And to do that, I just need to move the third keyframe, towards the left. This is perfect, but I just want to do one last thing, to make it look even better. I will add a shadow, into the fan blades. The shadow effect can be found under the edges category. This is nice. How about adding a sound effect as well? We can search for a suitable sound effect in Pixabay. So, let me add a sound effect layer from Pixabay. I think this will be perfect for our project. And now let me play the final project. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.